Hi there, I'm Stephanie Crowley with the Canadian Security Magazine team, and today I'm speaking with Kashif Parvez, the Chief Information Security Officer at University Health Network. Nice to meet you, Kash, and thanks for joining us. Nice to meet you, Stephanie. I'm glad to be here. As you said, my name is Kash Parvez, and I am the uh, Chief Information Security Officer at University Health Network uh, here in Toronto. Perfect. So let's talk about uh, security in terms of patient health and why that's so important. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so it's not just patient information. Patient information, for sure, from a privacy perspective, you want to maintain all of that patient data and patient records. You know, hackers out there are really looking to uh, leverage that for identity theft and to uh, to do other sorts of transactions, uh, you, you know, uh, take over some of the identity to make financial transactions on the credit card. We collect a lot of information uh, through uh, giving care to our patients. So um, we have an obligation rather to uh, to protect that information. And then the other issue is uh, just uh, maintaining uh, um, the actual operations of the organization. So the clinical operations uh, that run the uh, the hospital. Let's get into the details here. What security challenge was UHM facing um, that precipitated a search for a new security solution for you? Uh, we had an in-house, uh, what we call a SOC, a security operations center. Uh, mm -hmm. We were running that in-house with, uh, with our own staffing uh, model. However, we found that challenging uh, in the sense that uh, one, uh, it was hard to staff on a 24 by seven basis. Uh, to attract talent uh, who would want to uh, to run those shifts overnight uh, and on the weekends, as well as uh, getting people trained up. So to not only hire them, but also get them uh, uh, useful uh, as far as our systems are concerned, our alerting systems and getting them up to speed. You know, I think one of the things that was said best, to, uh, I think from one of our provincial counterparts was that uh, hospitals are in the business of making patients better. They are not in the pa in a business of running a secu security operations center. I can imagine that kind of ongoing relationship would be um, really important to uh, a client such as yourself with with such a magnitude and and uh, you know the amount of data as you as you spoke to earlier um, across the the different hospitals within the network. Um, so in terms of choosing a solution provider, how did you go about this, um, and and what kind of particular um, skills or expertise uh, did you land on with Callian that uh, really you know stood out to you and and eventually turned this partnership into a success? There was a rigorous um, RFP process that was followed uh, according to public sector rules, um, and uh, there was several organizations that were in the running, and then there was a very detailed review of all of the services, uh, including, you know, uh, past customers. Uh, you know, we did a lot of reference checks on, on folks as well who were past Calian customers as well, or, or continuous customers, as well as the service itself, uh, you know, reach within the healthcare sector. They have a very proven track record in doing this for other organizations as well. And also I had the opportunity to visit the SOC overseas and, you um, and they were very welcoming and very open to uh, to hearing feedback from customers. I think that they uh, and and they have a great customer success team. Uh, so they are always engaged in everything everything that I've asked for. Uh, they keep that um, as it's not just like well I heard it but you know I'll do it whenever and that sort of thing. They they keep that as a top priority and they follow up on it and every request that I make if it's if it's too large a request maybe it does require a change request but even that is told up front. Everything is. Um, is noted and uh, you know worked on right away if it's a smaller request or if it's a larger request then we, we think about it but I, I feel that I have a voice there um, you know from from the voice of the customer getting back um, to to optimize the solution to better meet our needs. What have you seen in terms of results so far that are kind of proving to you that uh, you know the Callian system is working? It's a funny uh, story actually the um, so my team was just uh, they were just wanted to test something they ran a, uh, a quick uh, scan of uh, one of the systems just as a, uh, we, we were looking at a different solution for uh, penetration testing a, a service. And so we just had a, a POC going in. So overnight, one of my uh, my internal UHN teams ran the thing just to, to test something out. And they didn't tell the uh, the overseas uh, <laughs> operations team, the MSSP. And immediately within like five minutes or something, we got an alert coming back in uh, you know, high escalation from them saying, hey, I see something and uh, uh, you know, dangerous happening and that sort of thing. And so they were right on top of it. I think that it's given us a level of comfort as far as uh, knowing that, you know, overnight, weekends, everything, incidents nearly always occur on a Friday afternoon or over the weekend or like in the middle of the night. Um, I've been on several of them before. 
uh, where it's, you know, I'll be like just getting ready to unwind for the weekend. And then you get this thing that we have some sort of a cyber event. So, um, so it's great to have the organization 24 by seven uh, looking all the time, uh, alerting when necessary. Um, and we are looking to expand some of the services. I know that uh, like, you know, managed security service provider is one portion of it. There are other services such as, uh, you know, identity protection and, uh, you know, taking over credentials and that sort of thing that are also being explored that uh, the Calin can offer. If they're not just a managed security service provider for me, they're, they are also um, our uh, incident response uh, firm. So when there are incidents, if there is an incident, they, you know, engage incident response through another portion of the team to get on the line, uh, you know, get onto the bridge, uh, contain the issue, find out what's going on, uh, and try to restore operations very quickly. So they're still part of our um, our response team as well. So it's not all just detection, it's detection and then response as well. Wonderful. Well, Kash, thank you for joining us today and uh, sharing your insights on your experience with Callian. Thank you so much.